Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had a little list of things we still needed to do. Uh, for instance, bring Dwarven Bolt to Kelselmo, bring Ancient Falmer Tomes, the ones I found, to Urag Groshub, and learn the first word of Dunavir's Shout, which we haven't summoned him to the world yet. Well, the living world, anyway, not the Soul Cairn. Anyway, now we're going to go ahead and do those things, or at least some of them. Uh, I should probably head over this way before I do that one thing. There is... Nope, that's not the correct one. Okay, I guess it's under magic, considering it's probably a shout. Uh, where... There it is. Okay. Curse never dying. Durnavir. I guess that's what the, uh, name means. Okay. Um, uh, let's check if I have enough souls yet. I have plenty. There we go. Let's run a little bit this way so we don't, you know, disturb the household and the new wife and the kid. Uh, for, you know, all of that. Anyway. Let's see what we've got over here. Pretty much nothing. Alright, cool beans. It's a little bit further now. Oh, I could have grabbed those arrows to sell them later. Oh, well. It's, it's 2020. We'll probably come back for them later eventually. Okay. Now, where should I summon him? That's the question. Probably over... Somewhere. <laughs> probably. Uh, let's try it on the road. Why not? There's probably not enough people going around to make it much of a difference. Alrighty. That was the wrong shout. I could have sworn I had it selected. <sighs> I am a dumb, apparently. I could have sworn I favorited it. I could have sworn I put it on. Oops. Alright, well, fuck me and fuck that plan. We're gonna go straight to kill Selmo then in Markarth. There we are. Helps if I can select the thing. There we go. Alright, in the meantime, I'm gonna drink my soda so I can refresh my brain, because apparently that's not working. Okay. Oh uh, boy, it's been one of those days. <laughs> there we are. What the? Oh, I thought he was looking down for some reason. Also, why are the textures loading in sure like that? Run a lot of junk. Hey! Best stop in at the Arnley for the Sons Trading Company. Sell it off. I am carrying around a lot of useful equipment. I whittled myself down to this. You go fuck yourself. Okay. I'm just gonna go in there before I get into arguments with any more guards. It's probably not a good idea to continue doing that. Okay. My hand has been a little bit finicky, so I do apologize if I pause every now and then. Because it's been not cooperative today. Probably won't be for the rest of the week. I have a feeling. Alright, there we go. It said, there we go. <laughs> there we go, and there we are. That's what my brain did there. Uh, would I have to go this way? Yes, I would have to go this way. Probably. Yeah, no. There. And, oh, I'm absolutely wrong and stupid. Okay. Well, this is going off to a great start thus far. Screw up the shout. Go to the wrong direction. Go to Kelselmo. Get whatever he wants. Well, he wants the... the Dwarven Bolt. So, I'll probably get something out of it. Gold, maybe. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Well, You'll give an old man hope. You're welcome, my guess. I have things to study. What is it? Well, the Dwarven Bolt that you wanted to study. 
You are? Very good. May I see it? Yeah, sure. Take a look. Excellent. Very good. This is exactly what I need to complete a series of studies I'm doing on grammar craftsmanship and magical resonance. Uh -huh. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what it's worth. Really? <laughs> Six gold. I think you can do better than that. Well, I suppose important research is worth every coin. That is true. All right, you have yourself a deal. How's double and a half its value in trade? <laughs> I could be an asshole, but I'm just going to give it to him. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. I am as well. There we are. Thank you. You gave me seven. It said eight, you asshole. Okay. What? Oh. The last time I worked with you, jackass. Okay. Well, that's out of the way. And I know I can't summon uh, Dernavir in here, because that would cause havoc and probably a bounty. I can, probably can't do it within the walls of Markarth either, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Game didn't just freeze on me, did it? It froze. God damn it. The game crashed, so, well, now I'm here. I uh, just got done redoing what happened before the crash. So now we're just going to wait for the loading screen as I try to go back into Markarth. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me then. Huh. <sighs> There we go. Hey, it works. Yippee. Okay. Well, now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and go this way a bit. Oh, all the guards are over there. That's weird, but all right. Fair enough, I guess. Oh. Have you seen a captured dragon? Uh, I don't think I'll never understand that one. Well, I don't understand why the hell you're sitting around here currently, to be perfectly honest. I was going to take a few things from a pal of mine who would have been completely okay with it. I guess not, because silver ingots are considered stolen. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and wait until they all leave. Okay, all the guards are just filtering in from that one spot, and I don't understand why. Okay. I'm just going to let them go by. done with all of that, and all of that, hey, gonna head right along this away. Trusted in Markov. Just keep that in mind. Fair enough there, buddy boy. Alright, we're gonna get out of here, and head a ways that away. <laughs> Somewhere where we can at least summon Dernavir without, you know, arousing too much trouble. But, you know, it's very easy in Markarth, considering they don't trust me to begin with. <sighs> anyway. There we are. Perfect. And, don't know how far away from Markarth we should try it. Probably not within city limits, that's for sure. And down we go. Whee! Okay. Man, I am running without almost any trouble. Not even halfway yet. Usually heavy armor such a pain in the ass. Hey! Hello! Hello! My brothers and sisters, hello. Uh, Prasad. <laughs> the wind blows bitter cold in this place. You are right, brother. That is very true. Uh, what have you got for sale? Take a look. All right. I shall do that. Uh, let me look what you got. Whoa. Got some pretty strong enchantment on that one, that's for sure. Let me look at everything else. Dwindling fire, health, mass depression. Well, you got some pretty decent stuff, I'll give you that much. Uh, let me see what I can sell to you for the time being. Probably not much. I can sell that to you, that's for sure. Um, hmm. yeah, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> 
Because I'm not entirely sure what I have on me. Um, uh, I could sell you all of these old ones I made, considering I don't need as many of them anymore. There we go, that'll do. Probably. <laughs> and I do have a lot of these that I don't necessarily need. See what you got in the potions department yourself, and then I see if we can trade a little bit, huh? Uh, minor healing, ultimate healing, and ultimate magic. Uh, that'd be useful. Uh... And I could take one little bit of Magicka. That'll work. So, yeah. I'll sell you a couple of these. About as much as you can really hold on to. There we go. And, yeah. Let's see what else we got. Probably not much that you can buy, that's for sure. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. What else we got? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Thank you, Rasad. May your road lead you to warm sand. Do you as well? Okay. It's hard to continue to do that accent <laughs> after I spoke normally for a little bit. Anyway, let us continue on. And I think a little ways this way. That, yeah, that little mining town is over there, so we won't be disturbing them. I don't want to fuck with the Khajiit either. Even though I don't think it will. Let me see if it's... But just to make sure, I have it on the right thing this time. There we go. We're good. Alright, we're good as can be. And I think I'm going to summon him right... There. there we go. Hey, now he's starting to materialize. What the... Um... What the... Where did they come from? Oh, jeez! Cultists! Yay! Man, friggin-tastic. Uh. Ah! Sorry, easy. Okay, that didn't work. The essence of your enemy's life form. Oh! Oh, he's still teaching me while I'm being attacked. Thank you. Essence, soul tip. Alrighty. I have no magic. Right. What? What did he just summon in? Oh, wait. That was, that was Jernipal. Dernavirus people uh, coming in. Come on, really? Why are you not getting hit? There we go. Now you're down. Good lord. Uh, I'm gonna take that, and of course the robes, because those are valuable. Fuck you. Take that too. There we go. Alright, the flame astronaut's definitely gonna be a problem. Alright, that's down. Oh. Okay. Got. It. Wait a minute, what's the fight going on? It's not intended. Then again, it's never intended. Usually. Around here. I'm gonna take the ropes. Thank you. You have nothing else of value to me. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, he's getting frozen a little bit there. <laughs> that was this <visceral. laughs> Oh, you gotta love that. Take this. Dernavera is just going to fly around a little bit, and that's perfectly fine by me. Oh, that's a little zoomed in. Didn't want it there. I think that'll... this'll work. Okay. Okay, Dernavera's uh, little servants have now died off, and I've killed the cultists, which is going to be the next thing I'm dealing with, by the way. I uh, figured I'd mention that now. But first, we have the little small things around Skyrim we need to deal with. Just a few tiny little things. Okay. And there was... Yeah, it was bringing the Balmer Tomes to the College of Winterhold to the... Uh, I forget his name. <laughs> Groshub. That's about as much as I remember it. But, uh, yeah, the orc that runs the Arcanium. There we go. <sighs> Boy. I'm going to drink another sip of my soda here. There we go. Perfect. I really should become a student through the college for a little bit. Just to get, you know, that quest line done. But I don't think I'm going to do that, you know, right away. If at all. To be perfectly honest. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. 
There we go. Thank you for the welcome again, Mirabelle, but uh, don't really need it right now. I know most of the ins and outs of your college. Welcome to the college. Thank you for following me in here, I guess. Okay, the Arcanium. There we go. Talk to Grow Shub in there, and then we can sell off the uh, tomes that we got. Or at least the majority of them. Maybe. We might need to collect all of them, which will be a problem. Because I'm not sure where all of them are. To be perfectly honest. I mean, I barely know where all the paragons that we collected in that area are. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Fair enough. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? I cannot blame you in the slightest. Any interest in ancient Falmer tomes? Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. Really? A rare find in the original Falmer language. That is true. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? Well, that depends on how much you're paying. Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Balls. <laughs> Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? Deal. Here you go. Okay. Got the Betrayed and Diary Affair Agarwin. So apparently I got 1,000, and that was two books, so it's 500 each. That's not bad. That's not bad, considering. Anyway, if he has the translated editions, so that means we can actually read it, this stuff now. So where was the first one? Pretty sure. Huh. That's not it. Uh, the Betrayed. There we go. Can we read it? There we go. <laughs> I was having trouble recognizing my commands for a second. Okay. And when the snow prince fell to the ground, the ice elves divided among and uh, uh, divided above and below. I can't read anymore. <sighs> now vanquished and brutally bound, one moment had shattered all they did know. The once cool wind on their skin now replaced with the heat of the flame, and a pride once felt deep within forgotten along with their name. Torn from their home of ice and frost, thrown into the pitch black dread of night. Living in fear as their minds become lost, as their eyes begin dimming in the light. Chained and enslaved, what once was light turned to blackness, alone and betrayed, sinking deeper into madness. Yeah, sounds about right, considering what I learned from the uh, one still sane uh, snow elf remaining. Okay, Diary of Fair Agarwin. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, let me know. The dates noted in this diary are translated liter literally. That's always a problem with me. <laughs> the, this verbiage matches no known modern measure of time and is assumed to be a custom form of counting the days and months. Excavations of ancient Falmer slave quarters have turned up brass vessels very similar to a deep bowl with 20 markings crudely etched on in onto the inside. I, my god, my brain is collapsing whenever I'm reading this stuff. It must be the font or something. Falmer scholars theorize that this bowl would be placed under a drip of water coming from an overhanging rock, and as the bowl filled, the water's level would reach these markings, thus indicating a crude passage of time. Because of its diary, the vessel has been called a kulnir, a I think that's how you pronounce it, a primitive Falmer timekeeping device. Okay, third marking, tenth cone here. Feels like it. Huh, it feels like years since we were forced into hiding. I dare not write where we stay for fear of endangering the good people of this house should that this diary be discovered. We have been shown a kindness by this family, once known to the Snow Prince. Even as, even in death, his great influence has ensured our safety. We were separated from many of our kin along the road when it became increasingly difficult to travel discreetly in our numbers. We were forced to go our separate ways and travel only at night. I have heard no news of where the others may have gone, and I fear I never shall. Our lives are forever changed. Well, that's 
how it goes, I guess. Seventh marking, tenth culinary. In the night, I find it difficult not to focus on times past. There are moments in my rest where I still hear the laughter of young ones at play in the valley. Other times, I see the pale flicker of happy moments which were once so common in the land of the snow elves. I try not to dwell on these memories too long. Often, our surroundings make it impossible to dwell on any happiness. We have been locked together in such close quarters for so long, we grow tired of each other's company. Even the strongest of us have faltered with nothing to do but think on what is lost. I wake each day to forlorn faces and are reminded where we are and all we have left behind. We are all yearning for a day when we can emerge from hiding and walk freely in the light once more, but I fear we are losing all hope that such a day will ever come. Tenth Marking Tenth Kulner I tire of the tears of women and children. My own have run dry. The men have begun to look upon us as if we are all weak, yet we have survived the same trials as they. I cannot bring myself to think on the numbers we lost in battle, yet I cannot force the images of my own losses from my mind. And now in a time when our people should be banded together, it feels we are drifting apart. The Nords have truly won. Our once great pride and unity are shattered. If we lose hope now, we will never survive. Today many, myself included, have tried to speak out in voices of reason. There can be no hope without talk of our future. We can make no difference if our spirits remain broken. That's probably true. 18th Marking, 10th Kulnir. We know that we can never again be the snow elves and live freely in this world. We will forever be in hiding in one form or another. But if there is no reason we cannot, but there is no reason we cannot live life with the sun and the wind against our skin. Fair enough. There are those here who are friends to us and plan to help us once the threat is ended. We know now to survive we must be born anew. Outside we will appear as though we belong here. Inside we will carry our truth and our scars. What does that mean? Wait, are they... Are they talking about the deal with the dwarves that made them the betrayed? Huh. I guess that must be what they're talking about. So that's the only thing that makes sense. Alright then. Well, that is uh, definitely nice to know, I guess. That there was something going on there. Alright. I have to assume that is regarding the uh, change that they went through. And I'm a little concerned... With the mention that the men are looking at the women as if they're weak, does that have any bearing on the fact that a sec the sexual dimorphism seems to have gone, you know, away within the Falmer? Or at least the betrayed ones? Is that possibly why? I don't know. I don't want to really think about it too much. Because I might get sad and upset and angry, probably. But not exactly in that order, probably, as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna not call Dernavir here currently. That would be silly of me to do that. And uh, instead, I think I'm gonna end the episode here for right now. I'm pretty sure Dernavir is the only person I need to deal with right now. Uh. Bring ancient Falmer tongue to Kurosh, Urag Groshub. So I still have some of those to grab. Anyway, ending the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games for you.